is one of the nice things about one of these longer dives where we traverse. <gasps> um, oh. oh. Check that out. Wow. Oh. Happy Easter to us. Look at that. Oh. I mean, it looks like the. Wow. Sort of I thought that was so much Illustrator when it first showed up. It's <laughs> <You did. laughs> I saw it on the Adel and I came and I was like, there's no way it's that yellow. Oh my goodness. So this might be a Bolosoma species. Oh wow. Wait for some confirmation from our scientists ashore. When I'm sure we'll come around to get a view of the inside. Ooh. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yellow oh. Bolosoma. Confirmation from shore. Wow. Oh. Very nice. Can we get a zoom on this one when we get a chance? Sure. To get around to it. Probably acting in a stolid anemone, looks like. What are we looking at? I'm trying to figure that out. Is there a particular area you want to look at? or? Yeah, if we could just get in as tight as possible on the polyps. Let's see what it looks like here. Squat lobster in there. Oh, looks like a bamboo coral, possibly. Yeah, you can see some. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dark sort of banding on the skeleton, characteristic Sorry, one more time. of bamboo Come corals. Down. Yeah. And the sort of pink in the center of the polyp is typically a pretty good indication of bamboo coral as well. Oh, that's cool. They're all clenching them. Does an area like this technically count as a coral reef? And what does um, what the what constitutes a coral reef? Is there a reason that deep that deep sea coral seems to be far more spread apart than coral near the surface? That's an interesting, it's a really good question. Um, coral reef is when coral accrues over many generations. So coral grows and then its skeleton dies and then more coral grows on top of that. So it basically creates its own habitat. Uh, that is not what we're seeing here. This would probably fall under what is a coral garden, which is Thank a really... <laughs> high density and uh, diverse area of corals, but uh, it is not composed of corals growing on other uh, dead corals. It's composed of corals just growing on rocks. And coral gardens like this can go much, much deeper. Yeah, lots of different corals yeah. here. Wow. And some sponges. Look at this. This is where the party's at over here. Can we get a closer on the brown one here? Yeah, sure. Go ahead and zoom. And let's definitely get some stills of all these high density. This might be a good spot to take an eDNA, which we haven't taken very much. Ah, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. true. Okay. Great, Great call. call. And this is one of the highest okay. densities that I've seen That would so be far. Niskin 3. So right now we're setting up to take a water sample. And this is going to be used for an environmental DNA survey that's being done. The idea here is to use environmental DNA as a tracer for the types of organisms in the environment to compare to what we're seeing visually. A really nice, large yellow crinoid there. Yeah. That's um, huge, beautiful. yeah. Almost larger than the corals. I think there's another plexorid in the background here if we have a chance to look at it. Can you remind me what the plexorid is? It's a type of coral. Coral, okay. I don't know yeah. which one we're looking at. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, to point at. Over here. This one, yeah, roger that. Yellow. Yeah, it kind of does look like Zoanthids attached to another coral. I'm yeah. not sure. We'll see what our scientists ashore have to say. Thank you. Okay, come wide. A little bit of that gray sponge there, too, on just out of the crack. Yeah? I wonder what that is. That looks like a coral. Yeah, we see it other places. I remember Spiral seeing this with Steve once before. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, interesting. Where it just kind of makes this trail, but I don't remember what it's called. That's gorgeous. I have to look through my notes here. All right, thanks. Maybe plural corallium. So. Oh, and the closed ones look really type cool of too. Wow. White. Can we get a partial yeah, on go that? Yeah, Zoom in. Oh yeah. And also, oh. I, the uh, dark purple and the light purple. I wasn't sure if those were two different things or Roger. one and the same. Okay, thank you very much. And verdict is. <clears throat> same or different? Same, same. We got a floater. Oh, that's a pretty coral. Yeah, that's uh, that. the floater. It's cool. Be too, can we get a partial on this Paragorgia here? Just curious what's on it. It might just be yeah. brittle stars. No, it doesn't look like there's maybe a demo sponge in the back. Oh, yeah. Attached yeah. the rock, but it's Good a little catch. different than the one we saw earlier in you the dive. You can push in more there, Steve. 
There's also a squat lobster down there at the bottom. <laughs> is that a sponge? No, I think that's um, what we just saw. Oh, you're saw. right. That's a... Um, Zoanthid. Zoanthid. You're right. Yeah. You're right. Oh, it Annabelle. It looks like attached Crazy to uh, like a old holdfast or something. Yeah. Supposedly. All right, come on, please. 